hello friends today we are going to discuss one more html5 api called web workers web workers allow you to run javascript code in the background without blocking the web page user interface web workers can improve the overall performance of a web page and also enhance the user experience web workers come in two flavors dedicated web workers and shared web workers we will discuss about these later what are the advantages the main advantages allow you to run javascript code in the background typically the javascript code that you write in a web page executes in the same thread that is main thread as the user interface that is why when you click on a button that is supposed to trigger some lengthy process the web page user interface freezes and sometimes page can be crashed unless the processing is complete you can't work with the user interface so to overcome this problem we use web worker you can use ajax with the web workers web worker also use error handling and we can terminate also the error using terminate method there are several disadvantages as well uh not really disadvantages but yes the limitations web workers can't access the dom it can you cannot manipulate the dom web workers can't access global variables at javascript functions from the web page so can't call alert confirm like functions so these are the only limitations so let's see how it works here i have created one index file and in this index file i am using uh, let's run first i am trying to work on a factorial uh, program where when i will click the factorial the factor uh, it will output the factorial of the respective number and uh, for this i am taking one input with id fact one div where i will display the output the button with the id calculate and only one main js so here let's write the code first we uh, create one variable for calculation calculate calculate and one variable for output and here we will display our output now let's create one function let's say operation is equal to function and inside this function we will write our script and here calculate and like an operation so we are done with this operation now inside this operation function we can write check first if window has one worker then create one instance of worker and inside this worker we have to pass our web worker supported file name web worker dot js now let's create one more variable and this variable will accept the number whatever number we want to go with factorial let's get num is equal to and so this is get factorial dot value and uh, it will give us the output in a string so let's convert it in number so type conversion is done 
now it always work on two main method post message and on message so first of all we must post our message post our variable object to the supported script web worker script so how we can post web worker dot post message and in this post message I'm passing the number we can pass some object as well and worker dot once the mm, web worker is done then we will receive one message function and in this on message function okay, let's uh, leave it like this for now okay uh, so receiving part we can do it later so first of all we must create a script for web worker because we are sending we are posting one number we are passing one number to our supported script supported script is web worker dot js here on web worker dot js we will write the function on message okay on message is equal to function and it will take argument and in this argument we will receive the data if the e dot data is not equal to undefined then create a recursive factorial function function foo or okay we can avoid it function here we can pass some value and this value should be if equal to 1 and return 1 and return well dot factorial uh, we can use it one more let's write it like this foo because we must call the function or we can use uh, arguments dot callee instead of writing foo well minus one and if we will use arguments dot callee then we don't have to write uh, this foo dot callee we can pass e dot data yes, this is the value what we are getting from here this num and this num is nothing but the value because we are just passing the value e dot data after this we can post message fact now we are again post again sending back the message here here we will receive the message and and while receiving we can write output dot uh, inner html is equal to e dot data whatever data we have received and uh, I think we are done we should just give it a try uh, and 5 calculate ok factorial 4 uh, okay it is working so this is not an example where I can freeze the page and we can check here in profiles let's create it again start 5 calculate stop here we can see that this script took 1 millisecond 
of course it is uh, not a, a good example where we can use uh, this multi-threading the workers is 100 milliseconds we are spending on on message so uh, it is good that is all from my side I'll keep update you with one more web worker example in future please like and subscribe my videos thank you